Alright guys, we're here at Lowe's today. We're going to pick up some supplies to uh, make an EDF test stand. Uh, still trying to decide if I'm going to run metal or wood. Uh, but I also am trying to do it uh, on a cheap, you know, cheap budget. So we're going to, something that's going to be able to make it fast and yet durable. So that's what we're going to be doing. Alright guys, here we got the uh, supplies that we're going to be using to uh, build the, our... Uh, our EDF test stand got some uh, I'm gonna incorporate wood and metal into this uh, into this design I'm uh, kind of pulling from different designs that I saw on uh, RC groups just uh, different people you know um, building their stuff so I'm kind of gonna incorporate that and do some wood cutting some some metal cutting and uh, just gonna draw every, put everything together and then hopefully uh, after we've put everything together hopefully it not only functions properly but also uh looks great so uh just uh i'll keep, keep you guys posted as we go uh and then from there we'll uh we'll see what's what all right yep thanks for all right so here we're updating uh gonna keep kind of giving an update of how this is gonna look uh i made the base i got the uh got these uh posts up or whatever and then uh, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be drilling holes in and uh, these wooden uh, slabs here are gonna go in right around there and this this is where the, the drawer or whatever is gonna be to pull on the uh, that are gonna be pulling the, the EDF is gonna pull on it All right. and then uh, what we're gonna be doing is uh, <laughs> We're going to be uh, reinforcing the back here. That's where the, st the scale is going to go. And then I'm also going to be cutting... Uh, oh, here, let me move this real quick. I'm going to be cutting uh, a little bit off this board. And this is what's going to be... This is what it's going to slide on. So I'm probably going to use this side for the... And then uh, I just got to measure before I cut. Measure where... Um, measure this out and then... After I'm done with that, then I'm gonna put these on top. Uh, this is gonna be on top. Huh? Alright, so uh, here we've got our platform that's gonna go on the on the, uh, the base over here. And then uh, we're just putting in the screws. I'm gonna have an adjustable piece of plywood. Hold on, it's not. Okay. Oh, it's not even. Well, it's recording, but. Oh. I'm gonna have it on a uh, adjustable. I'm gonna put an adjustable piece of plywood that I can uh, slide this slide in and out. Uh, I got this little hole right here for the wires of the motor to go under, underneath. Um, and then uh, from there, I should call it uh, quits for the day, just because uh, it's getting late. And then uh, this should only take me the next uh, 20 minutes or so, hopefully. And then uh, after I get all this stuff put together. It should be it until I get my uh, testing equipment in. Then I can actually use the use the platform. So. All right, guys. Uh, kind of done for the evening. Uh, there's still just a little bit more uh, tweaks I'm gonna do to this before I'm done, completely done. But uh, this is pretty much it for the night. Uh, or for today, um, we got our. What we did today was we built our base. We built our base. Uh, we reinforced it with some uh, some some metal that we bought from uh, Home Depot. I know in the beginning, in the first video, we said we were at Lowe's, but we decided to go to Home Depot instead. It's a little easier finding some stuff. Um, reinforced it in all the different spots. Measured everything. Um, then for the uh, drawer part. Um, we took some uh, wood, we made the uh, reinforcement for the drawer, the, the drawer slides, and we ran it along the top here. We reinforced it with uh, with some bolts here, and then uh, we also cut a piece of board. This is for our, for our, this is where the EDF is gonna mount. Uh, the wires are either gonna go down below, or I'm gonna have uh, just the wires come down below over here. Um, Hopefully I've got enough. Uh, hopefully I've got enough clearance for the EDF motor here. If not, I can always just stack some more plywood up here. Uh, and then back here uh, is the wood that I'm going to be using 
for the scale. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up two hooks here. I'm going to drill in two hooks uh, that the scale will put on there. I'm going to put a digital scale. And then I'm going to hook that up to uh, perhaps two hooks here that are going to go to the scale. Then I'm going to extend it out a little bit so that it's, uh, it's ready. And then when I power up, the motor is going to pull on it, obviously. And then we're going to measure how much thrust we get. And uh, hopefully the, you know, it's pretty smooth, but hopefully the friction that's here, because it's still kind of heavy, hopefully the friction um, is not going to be too much and we'll still, we'll still be able to get a relatively accurate reading on thrust to uh, the thrust weight ratio. So hopefully uh, the correct thrust reading in terms of weight. So um, this is my little uh, EDF thrust uh, stand, test stand. And, uh, hopefully everything works out and uh, hope you guys think it's cool or whatever if not whatever but I think it's cool I've never done anything like this kind of trial error uh, well trial haven't really uh, tested it out or anything like that so um, hopefully after I get all my equipment and stuff uh, after I get all my equipment um, we'll be able to get some accurate readings on this test stand so here it is, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Ooh.